Grand Country Homestead and I just wanted to give you a quick update on the skirt and yes I'm wearing my garden gloves because I'm getting ready to mow the lawn so um I don't know if you can, how well you can see this but because I just put the camera way far back but um I made another one because I liked the brown one I mean I already been making that style as far as for going out and about but not for around the house I was just wearing some old store-bought skirts for around the house except for the circle skirt I made out of the navy blue and decided I didn't like it well I had bought a lot of these sheets and so this one was made out of two twin size fitted sheets and um, I just love the way they move for working around the, the garden and the house and and uh, this one ended up being a little bit longer than the brown I like this length but it's just still a tiny bit too long for for working around the house but but not as bad as some of my other skirts but I, one of the things I want to show you for those who are interested in making a skirt is come up here close now I'm in the let me get back out here in the Sun is what I did with the raw edges is and I did this on the brown skirt too I went back and did it is I found this was a it made it look better and and it didn't thread as bad is to go like you would with a rag style quilt for those of you who have ever made a rag style quilt and then just put little clips all along through the through these outside pieces and then it won't it won't uh, pull those big long threads off as bad and so that worked a lot better when I did that and it I, to me it just gave it a nicer look for for that for this style and uh, as I showed you in my other videos, um, at the, the other video of the making the skirt like this, at the end I showed two quick pictures of other skirts I'd made from sheets and other material. And uh, those were with the, with the rough edges on the inside of the skirt. So that's for if you're wanting a more finished look in your skirt like this, in the tiered skirt. Um, with the rough edges on the outside gives it that more frontier, westerny kind of appearance. So, um, so yeah, and it's it's just very full. You know, I you can see I can lift it all the way up to here on the side, and I'm still fully covered on the bottom. Well, you might not be able to see that part, but anyway, it's a uh, just super comfortable. So for you ladies who prefer to wear skirts and not jeans, because I wear skirts all the time. That's all I wear now. Um, I recommend this style for being able to do your chores and stuff. Obviously, walk, you know, climbing up ladders and stuff is going to take practice, but I've been doing it for a little while now, and you learn, you learn how to work around it. I mean, back in the day, that's all the frontier women wore, and they were hard, hard workers, and they worked in their skirts, and and uh, we just have to re for those who are kind of going back to the more old-fashioned way of dress and work and all that. You just learn, you you learn because they did it. We just have to relearn it. We've gotten a lot far away from it. So, and that was the other thing I wanted to touch on. And so some people might wonder, well, why do you wear skirts? Well, there's several reasons why. And for me, some of it goes to back to what the Bible says. The other part of it is I hate jeans. I always have. And so that left me to wear in sweats. And then I always, I wore sweats around the house all the time and I always felt kind of frumpy and and uh, scrubby and I like my husband to be able to come home from work and and even if I'm wearing my work skirts I still feel like I look feminine and pretty and that's what I'm trying to do there and most importantly I guess well I don't know if it's most important but I find that wearing the skirts have been the most comfortable and make me feel the most um, self-confident than any other attire that I wear wearing the full long skirts and they also keep me very cool in the summer and warm in the winter it's rather surprising so uh, just for those of you who are considering it if you're thinking oh how do you do this and that in it well some of it's easier than you think and the rest of it just simply takes practice you learn to move around the skirt and you learn what style works best for you for me this particular style works best so um, anyway, that was just my update and uh, thank you so much for watching and for being a part of my channel and um, watching it grow has been just kind of surprising. People have been telling me for a long time I should do this and I was holding back and praying about it and, 
And finally, I felt it was time to just go ahead and jump in. And I've been surprised at the at the uh, the amount of support and feedback I've been getting. So thank you so much for that, and thank you being a part of this with me on the way. And uh, you'll be seeing more of my husband in more videos in the future because he's really enjoying this too. I just want you to know, and he appreciates it as well. You may not hear him say it, but he does. So thank you. Take care. God bless.